Hey everyone, and welcome to my first ever LEGO review on the Masters of Jitsu. Uh, this isn't going to be a traditional review, it's mainly going to be a speed paint with my thoughts on the set uh, laid over it. If you want to see the uninterrupted speed paint with no voiceover, I'll be releasing that too. So with that out of the way, this is set number 80028, The Bone Demon. It has 1,373 pieces, it retails for $120 in the US, and it releases July 1st. So first off, I just want to say that this is a really, really cool set. Um, Whenever I saw it on the show, uh, I, I couldn't wait for the set to come out. I knew it was coming. And when I saw finally saw the pictures, uh, like I I had to have the set instantly. Uh, this is a must-buy uh, for anybody who wants to get it, or anybody who was thinking about getting it. It has such a unique design to it that I've really only seen done with uh, the Iron Doom. Or I, I guess also the, uh, the Fire Fang, but that's not really a mech uh, in the sense of having two arms but you know this set is so much larger than the iron doom and so much more complex and it has such a better play feature uh, i think this set is like superior in every way in terms of a, a mech with like the the anatomy that it has um first off it's actually like really tall for 120 dollars uh it's actually taller than the warrior mech despite the warrior mech being uh, $30 more expensive and I, I guess granted uh, the warrior mech has a bunch of side builds to it that are pretty major uh, whereas the uh, the bone mech really only has like the small little um, archway thing and it, uh, I guess a mech too yeah it has another mech um, but you know obviously the uh, the bone mech isn't gonna scale well with the warrior mech in the show it's like it's so big compared to the warrior mech can literally hold it in its hand um so obviously they can't like make the bone mech to scale without it being like three feet tall and thousands of dollars um but i'm gl i'm really glad that it's at least a little bit taller than the uh the warrior mech just so we can kind of get that like intimidation um like function i guess of it uh it also kind of does like incorporate the sense of scale by including this small little scaled down version of the warrior mech which i'm assuming it's supposed to be the warrior mech um it doesn't look like it all that much um and if i had to change anything about it i would probably try to i would probably make the uh the small warrior mech look a little bit more like the big one um it's built like one of the ten dollar uh, marvel mechs it has the same like chest piece uh, it uses the mixel joints um, for everything, which kind of make it very flimsy to pose. Um, the best way that I've had, uh, the, the best way that I've been able to pose it is by putting my fingers on the feet and then kind of moving the mech around to give it, like, to, to pose it. Otherwise, it's just going to fall over. Um, and that's actually my first $10 mech, so that's good, I guess. Um, it also comes with this little, like, cloud build that the mech can ride on, or you can also put MK uh, on it, too, to fly. It kind of reminds me of the, the small little cloud that Monkey King has in, uh, in the Warrior mech, which, you know, I guess comparing those sets even further. Uh, and you can also put the, uh, these wings on it that come with, uh, May's jetpack. And speaking of falling over, um, if you ever, if you had worries that the, uh, the bone mech was gonna fall over easily because it looks too hot it looks too top heavy in the set photos um don't worry about that as soon as i was done building this mech i slapped it around a lot just to test out the sturdiness of it and it's not falling down um the the legs the the back part of it is actually a lot longer than what it looks like in the official set images um and the the spider or i guess scorpion legs that come out of either side um, are actually like help to stabilize it a little bit they don't do much but they do kind of like give it a little bit of push to come back to the center um so don't worry about it falling over because it's that it's not going to do that unless you punch it or push it really hard um but you know that any mech will fall over if you push it too hard this set apparently also has the most amount of glow in the dark pieces out of any set uh and it's mostly located in the uh the shoulders and the horns on the head and the ribs um, and there's also a few glow-in-the-dark pieces on the little archway 
uh, and on the minifigures too, in the, on two of the minifigures. And the piece, the glow-in-the-dark functionality like, works really well. Like, I've had it to where I've barely shown any light on it, and whenever I turn the lights off, it's clearly visible. The main feature of this set is the transformation, and I think this set has one of the best transformations I've ever seen in the LEGO set. Uh, this isn't like the creator sets or like the mech jet from Heim Empire, uh, where you have to rebuild the entire set, set from scratch. Um, and I kind of thought it was going to be like that, uh, just a little bit at least. Like, I thought you would have to do at least some rearranging of pieces uh, when I saw the set images, but no, apparently, like everything is just like built separately and then it's all assembled at the end uh, which kind of makes the uh the instructions on it the instruction order uh really weird like uh for example you build the pauldrons first uh, which is makes sense because the pauldrons are like the first stage of the of the mech like the little spiders um and after that you build the archway with the head on it then you build the torso um then the scorpion legs and then the arms are last because they're technically like the arms of the scorpion too. Um, and it, it's kind of weird building the, it's kind of weird building the mech that way because like you're used to building the torso first and then the legs and the arms and then the head finally. Uh, and then like all the little like extra pieces all over it and stuff. Um, but uh, I think that it was a really cool, a really cool and solid build. Um, there's also a few instances of minifigure pieces being stripped, spread through the separate bags. Uh, like for example, Lady Bone Demon is in bag three, but her weapons and uh, her the bone in her hair and the her like her ghost legs appear in bag eight for some reason. Um, and it's really weird because like the you think that the bone piece in her hair would be like a part of her. Um, but it's five bags away. I, I don't really understand that all too much. Uh, and same thing with May. Like, she appears in bag two, uh, but her helmet and weapons uh, come in bag three. It, it's just kind of weird because you think that, you know, you get everything with that minifigure and then later on you get more of their accessories and stuff. Uh, and you just figure that the minifigure would come with, like, the stuff that they're with. And I don't know. It, it's just kind of a weird... Um, a, a weird order that I've never seen before. Uh, but back on track, the uh, the disassembled mech is really cool because uh, you're left with all the mech's transformations. Um, you've got the uh, you've got two of these little spider things, which are like the first stage of like the mech, uh, and then after those were after that, there's only one of them in the show, but this gives you two. Um, but after that, you've got like this big scorpion, which makes it the legs, um, and it's a really neat little build. It kind of uses the same uh, sort of function as like, it kind of reminds me of uh, the knee joints on Zane's Titan mech with the uh, the mixel ball joint uh, for some reason. I don't know why, but like the way that it stands up is it has uh, one big ball joint and then it has two small mixel joints um, that are disconnected when it's in scorpion mode. Um, but whenever you, like, transform it, you basically, like, lock the mixer joints in place, and so the, uh, the tip of the tail stands straight up. And whenever I saw the images, I kind of thought that there was, like, a really, really strong joint, and that the mech was able to, uh, kind of lean back a little bit, but it's kind of locked in place. Which, for these big mechs, I've kind of accepted the fact that they're basically just going to be statues with movable arms. They're not going to have a lot of posability for, um, for structure, uh, reasons. Especially this one, since it doesn't really have any legs. It's just a long, like, snake tail thing. Um, but uh, back on track, the uh, the torso is actually... Uh, it contains uh, Lady Bone Demon's, like, sarcophagus thing, and that's attachable as well. It has a really cool print on the inside, and I think the whole play feature is that... Um, you're supposed to find Lady Bone Demon in the sarcophagus... Um, and then she sort of creates the mech around herself, sort of, um, cause that's kind of what it's like. You can, you can detach the, uh, sarcophagus from the, uh, the, the coffin from, uh, from the torso of the mech. And I, I think that's a really cool little thing. Um, also the, uh, the bone spider things 
had these two little cauldrons on them and you're supposed to put like a bunch of bones in them but they're very loose inside because they're not actually attached to anything so what i've done is i've taken the uh the bones and all the accessories and everything and i've kind of put them in the uh the coffin whenever it's not in use um oh in addition uh there's little like clips that you can put lady bone demon swords on the other side of the coffin too uh, which is really nice that they added that um, as for other little like cool things about the set i really like the the vinyl pieces that kind of act as the uh the mech's like cape it's not really a cape it's more of like um two big banners um and i think those are really cool like they have a really neat design on them um they also have these like trans light blue uh chains that are on these like big antler things on its back and also its arms and i don't know if you've ever gotten uh the chain piece in that color before but if we haven't that's really cool uh and i hope we get more of that in the future um on a side note uh this isn't really anything wrong with the set but on my copy uh the stickers were kind of cut slightly off center so if you in the pictures if the um if the stickers aren't centered correctly that's not my fault i put them on the you know fairly well it's just that the uh the i guess the they were cut kind of slightly off center um which i also kind of found um which is kind of the the same thing that happened uh with sandy's boat um the stickers are kind of off center so i don't know if that's a problem with just like monkey kid in general or like lego but that's not really a criticism of the set uh it's more of just kind of a general like quality control uh that i noticed and I, I don't know if it's just me or if anybody else has had that problem um but i kind of found it annoying anyway uh this set comes with five minifigures um mk a new version of mk actually uh may two bone spirits and lady bone demon herself uh mk as i said is a new torso with a zipped up jacket um and he's going back to wearing the headphones actually which is pretty neat he doesn't actually wear either the headphones or the hood in the show um but it's cool that we're kind of going back to that i think that the uh his new torso actually kind of looks like a mix between um the first and second variants of his outfit um but as you can see he kind of has like this little like leopard or tiger print uh on the pockets and like on the collar on his back which is pretty neat um he has the same leg print uh, as everybody else but it's a pretty cool leg print still dual, dual molded uh it's got prints on the side it's a really good leg uh, print um may just comes with her same like season two or not even season two uh wave two uh variant that comes with the drone and a few other sets i believe um but she does come with like a cool little jetpack glider thing um which can be removed uh and she comes with her helmet too her helmet and hair uh which is neat um, same face as all the other ones too, which is fine. Um, the two, uh, bone spirits aren't really, like, in the show at all, but they're a really cool addition. Uh, the arms glow in the dark, and so, is the, so does the head. Um, it comes with this new hood piece, which I actually don't have, so this is the first time I'm getting it, which is pretty cool. Um, they have the, uh, the overlord like ghost piece and by that i mean like the same color the purple and black uh which is always a good cool mold to get um and they have these cool little spears that are like tridents i guess like these little trident spears um which is a neat little build uh and finally you have lady bone demon or uh in the box she's known as white bone demon um which is also her name in journey to the west so i guess either name is fine um I guess if you watch the show, you call her Lady Bone Demon, um, but whatever. Uh, and this is a really, really cool minifigure. Uh, I'm glad we finally get her after all this time. Um, she has such a cool design. It kind of reminds me of the Overlord a little bit, like the the um, one from Rebooted, with like the uh, the purple and black and like, the smoky bits and everything with like the rib cage and. She just looks like a female version of the Overlord, which I think is awesome. Um, her hair is made out of rubber, which is a little disappointing, but I guess if you want to have all these little, like, sharp bone, like, bits all over her hair, you want to have it a softer material. 
Um, it does hold a bone, kind of like um, that one rubber hair piece that uh, Tox uses. Um, but that's really all I have to say about her. She also comes with another one of those, um, the ghost legs, if you want to give her that. I don't really know why you would. I think that the the print on her, uh, her dress piece is really cool. Um, but if you want to do that, go ahead. Uh, one little thing I have about the, uh, the minifigure selection, uh, and it's not even really like a, a major problem. It's more of just like a little nitpick that I had. Um, I kind of wish that we had gotten the mayor in it. Um, you know, Monkey Kid sets have a lot of civilians in them, and you could easily have, like, made, uh, the mayor is like, a, or mayor in quotes, uh, as a civilian, uh, where he has just, like, a normal face on one side, and then, like, the, the scary, you know, evil face on the other side. It would be really easy to do, like, all he wears is a suit, and he has, like, the most, like, simple hair ever. Um... He just has Tang's hair. But, uh, yeah, it's more of just a nitpick. Uh, you could easily make a custom of him, of him if you wanted to. Um, another, like, minifigure I would really like in the future is the child version of Lady Bone Demon. Like, the one with the black hair. Uh, I'm not sure how plausible it is, considering that we're kind of getting her main form uh, in her first go. Uh, it would have been more plausible, I guess, if we had gotten, like, the child version in, in an earlier set. And then we got, like, the 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 true form in this set um but I, you know it's fine it's like i'm really glad that we got this version of lady bone demon and i'm really happy with this uh selection overall uh, i think it's actually the best minifigure selection of this wave uh, in conclusion this is a really really amazing set uh and once again i can't really think of anything negative to say about the set that isn't really just an issue with my copy or just like a, like a minor nitpick. Um, the minifigure selection is great, once again. Um, I would highly recommend this set if you're a fan of Monkey Kid, or if you just really like big mechs with really cool play features, uh, especially if you're like into like cool transformations and um, just like all of these little pieces coming together to form one big thing, and every piece makes sense uh, in their own context. Um, it's just a really, really cool set. Uh, and with that, I've, I've pretty much said all I have to say about this set. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next review. Bye.